All right, guys, before we get into the pod, if you guys love firing on sports like me, you gotta download the Prize Picks app. You heard me say it before, but boys, I've obviously tried every single app when it comes to firing on sports. And in my opinion, Prize Picks is by far the best and the most fun to use. Instead of betting on teams, you're choosing individual players. So each player has a set projection and you either go more or less than that set projection. So if you guys know what players are gonna perform on what nights, it's a no brainer. You have gotta try the Prize Picks app. Give it out, give it a try. And for first time users, if it's your first time, use this code NELK because it's gonna give you a 100% deposit bonus. So plug that in. If you put in 100 bucks, it's gonna match that 100 bucks with code NELK. So that code's for you boys. Take advantage of that. Tons of sports on. March Madness is starting up. We're gonna be doing some firing on that. DM me on Instagram your picks because I love going with fan picks. I'm always looking at what fans are using and what picks they're going with. But yeah, trust me. Download the prize picks out. Try it out if you have not tried it and use code NELK. Let's get into the pod. I mean, like, before we get started, maybe we should talk about how this all came together. What? what? Oh, it's, is he trying to get credit for bringing a guest on? Is that a thing? No. Um, he's doing new yeah, Bob Menner. No, yes, 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 yes. That's crazy. Yes. How much you want for that? Did you what? pay him for that? This is crazy. We're rolling? I thought we were just chopping it up. Okay. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. No, like, well, you like, can tell a story anyway. Okay, like, I, I, <laughs> yo, this guy's jokes. Well, Jinxie just told me he's been watching Nelk since 200K, so I think that had something oh. to do with it. Yeah, yeah. I thought Steiny was funny as f because of the Dana pod. I was like, this is the funniest shit I've ever seen. Like, it was Dana, Bob, Steiny, Kyle, right? Yeah, 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 no. Just you four. And um, I was like, dude, this guy's like funny as f And then I saw the, um, the Andrew Scholes pod. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you think about that? And one? I was like, that's the most I've ever laughed in two yeah. hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I was like, this Steiny guy's pretty f funny. So I followed him on Twitter, and he's like, bro, you should do the full send pod. And then I was like, oh, yeah, like, that's f sick. Because I've been watching Nelk since 200K subs. That's when it was sick. You, oh, Lucas, wow. Jesse, when you guys were like, Crazy. Crashing at fans' houses and that's like sick. I was like, this is so dope. Cause like, the era of YouTube before that with pranks and you know better than anybody was it was all fake. Like it was all, all a lot prank. of fake. Yeah, a it lot was of like fake. nine percent fake. So like when Nelk came around, people appreciated. It. These are like real pranks and yeah. like people are actually getting pissed. Like and people are gonna appreciate that because like they're so used to watching fake. You know we just I mean? started doing shit that's like couldn't be faked. Yeah, exactly. That was like exactly. our strategy, and that's like that's why Nelk would just blew up. And that's sick. So like when Steiny asked me that, I was like, bro. Yeah, that's 100%. Dope. Yeah, and now you're the. F Are you officially the number one streamer on Twitch right now in the last like two months? Yeah, that's f crazy. How does that feel? I mean, no different You're than pretty being, humble, bro. No different than being number two or number three. It's just like no, it's not. It's completely different, dude. I still wake up in the same bed. Like it, I don't know, nothing changes after that. It's just like I like doing it. But you're it's like a tiny bit bigger when you're number one compared to like number two 100%. and three. Hundred <laughs> percent. No, it's it adds like, like the morning wood just hits a little bit different. Yeah. No, it's, it's still I still have an average penis, average house, average car. I drive like Wait, a Honda Accord. You live I, with I, the parents, I, right? Yeah, I live with I live with like my mom, my brother, my cousin. Because I mean, you were asking me about that like earlier or like a couple days ago. But like, yeah, dude, to me, family's all you really have in yeah. life. Like, you can have. You can have like money or fame or whatever, but at the end of the day, all that really matters is like the people you truly care about. So like, dude, I'm 22, bro. Like, I have my whole, I have my whole life to go f off and live by myself. I may as well spend as much time with my mom and dad while I can. Yeah. Because like when I'm older, they're not going to be around. You know what I mean? The reason I said that is because yeah. you you obviously have enough money to live by yourself. So like, do you still have chores? Like, do you have to be quiet by certain hours? No, no. My mom's like, do you get grounded? No, no, I don't get grounded. But um, you can't get grounded when you're number one. <laughs> no, my mom's pretty used to like the like shattering doors and like vibrating walls. Like she's pretty used to it. But we like soundproof my room and shit like two months ago because it was getting bad. How okay. do you go about that, dude? Um, Padding there was the actually a crazy shit. story. Like two years ago, I was playing. This is when I had like 800 viewers, but I was playing. Um, NBA Damn. 2K 23 or that was no, two 20, years ago, two years ago. I had, I had like a thousand viewers two years ago, wow. but, um, I was playing NBA 2K 22 and I was living in like, basically neighbors were like breathing on each other. Like the houses were stacked on top of each other and I was fucking screaming and I left my window open <laughs> and, uh, my next door neighbor thought there was like a shooting in our house. Cause how loud I was screaming and a cop like <laughs> walked into my room on stream and I had to like mute my mic and turn off my camera. But like, that was Insane, that's bro. hilarious. Yeah, no, that was insane. And how, how do you how do you clap cheeks with mom home though? 
Bro, I don't. I don't. It's okay, nasty. I'm done. Uh, no, but recently, <laughs> I feel like you've you've been streaming for a while. But like, let's say in the, the last. The way you just said three... that was just so like zesty too. What? <laughs> no, right? Oh, or no. Wait. Okay, enough of that. But in the last three months, I'd say your spark of like, or six months, we'll say, has gone like crazy. Mm -hmm. What sparked that? Just creativity and like thinking of the biggest thing with streaming is thinking of new shit, but also being in touch with like your community, like knowing what they want to see. Like, cause like I can do new shit every night, but like 90% of it's not going to hit. You need to know, like you need to be in touch with your community and what they want to see. And then like, yeah, in the last six months, just insane creativity with content. Like if I look at my content two years ago compared to now, it's like way different. Yeah. You're f everywhere. Yeah. And like, obviously OGs and shit will get mad about that. Cause it's like, bro, like, you changed. It's like, dude, my content changed. Like, I'm not gonna, cause like two, three years ago, I was perfectly cool with, I'm still perfectly cool with having a hundred viewers playing ranked all day. Like, I don't care, but just changing your mindset and your creativity is like the number one way to like, well, you have I mean, to. even you know that bro yeah. with like Nelk, like you guys had a different story in every video. Nothing felt the same. It was something new every time. Does that eat you up ever when the OG fans kind of like say you switched up and stuff? I know yeah. that oh, sometimes yeah, sure, with me. Like, I care about the OGs because yeah. like they were there from like ground zero. But like at the end of the day, like if you really do support somebody, you want to see them grow, right? So yeah. it's like, are you even like a supporter at that point if you're like, dude, f you, your content changed? Or they'll say, I change. It's like, dude, like I just changed my mindset. You know what I mean? Everyone is going to change, though. Yeah, you like, have to. I think that the same I, evolution. I think with streaming, it's a different level. Like if you compare it to YouTube fans, and I learned this when I was at Brad's with Neon, and he has his community, bro, they dictate that kid's life, it seems like. Like if they tell him, they tell him what to do, and he's so sensitive to that. I think there's a balance there, though. You can't just, like, do only what they want But does it to not do. seem like some of these streamers, like, it, there's so much pressure that, from the community to make, like, them happy where... Yeah, no, streaming is way different than anything else. Like, because, like, I do YouTube, but, like, Kyle, for example, he doesn't, like, stream. Like, I mean, maybe, like, you've done streams before, but, like, you're a YouTuber. Like, mm -hmm. you were, like, that's how you started, right? right? So it's, like, with streaming, if I don't stream tonight, like, bro, sometimes it's not even a horrible idea to think, like... I sometimes I wish I was just a random person because like if I let's say I worked at Chili's right and I'm not saying I'm not thankful for like my job I love my job but like let's say if I worked at Chili's and I called my boss and I was like yeah I can't make it to work tonight I'm letting down one guy he can just sub me out if I say I'm not making it to a stream mm -hmm. there's gonna be 11,000 people in the offline chat 600 DMs on Twitter 12 emails like it's way different when you're letting down that many people. Like, what do like, they so, say? So you're saying Hassan was right? Is that what you're saying? Wait, what do you mean? When Hassan was like, this is harder than, you know. Oh, when the nine to five shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. I think, but what he was what, saying. What did I, he say? He, he, well, I feel like sometimes Hassan does stuff just to like get people to almost be mad at him in a way. But he was saying how like being a streamer is like soul sucking more than a nine to five. But obviously he said it and it, you see it out of context when I see the clips. But I want your take on that. Dude. Honestly, Hassan, in the in terms of like soul sucking, if you work a nine hour shift and you do a nine hour stream, you're gonna be more drained mentally from the stream because like it depends on what type of streamer you are. If you're like turning your camera off, not talking, playing a game, let's say you're playing like World of Warcraft, you're not gonna be drained at all. Because you but could if, dog fuck at work a lot. Yeah, exactly. Like you, when you I used to work at the golf at course, work. like if my boss wasn't around, like you're going on your phone, like maybe grabbing a beer out of the fridge, or like you can dog. Got a nine to five a lot. Yeah. You at the golf course. You know what I mean? Yeah. In downtown. <clears throat> I've ripped the work. Yeah. Dude, and like, have you? It's yeah. low key. I've ripped a couple work. I'm not ashamed of it. Brad, well, you, that, Brad, you have honestly, for sure. No, Brad, you probably, you beat. No, God, I never have. God, I okay, never be have. honest. Have you since you've been here? What? <laughs> I don't know. Dude, at all. You always, you always take on. this shit to the next level. You just want to, it's like, what? Okay. I haven't I'm, off in a very long time now. It's been more than like almost. But it's true. Why do we talk about this every on stream? You got to, you got to be dialed the whole stream. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I have a real question. We talked about like fake shit earlier, right? Well, we didn't even we didn't even get through that completely. You, you want to continue? It? He's right. Like, like at work you about the work. Or? At work you can fuck off more. What am I on stream? Am I gonna pull out my and start? Yeah. dude? It, especially if you're a kick. top streamer and your your number one goal well, speed's done. is growth or entertaining people. Yeah. You need to be on. You bro. need to. Yeah, yeah. So like what Hassan said. To be honest, like. No one can relate to what he's saying because no one else is a streamer. Like Hassan, whether people like him or hate him, he is a top streamer. So he has input that no one else has. Like he's speaking from personal experience. At work, if you want to go to the bathroom and f 
for 10 minutes, you can't. You can't do that on stream. So like a nine hour stream could be more draining. I, I've never worked, so like I can't, I can't say. But like, yeah, he's he's done both, and like that's what he's saying. How so often do you stream a week? A week, seven days a week, like so every, every day. day. I'm I'm missing a stream today just to do this pod because I'm like this is a dope opportunity. Yeah, but we like, appreciate yeah. you. Thanks. Bro. I stream every day, bro. Yeah. For how long? Four hours normally. How about it's like minimum? Window. Sorry. Wow. How about the people? I see people kind of like comment at you for not streaming long enough. The part time shit. Yeah, they say yo two hours <laughs> streaming yeah, night, yeah. like they're throwing shade at you. Um, well, that's like a newer thing that developed in the last two months of like if I end stream at three hours and like, they're right. Like it's coming from a place of love and criticism. Like they want me to stream longer, but the goal to streaming, if you, if your goal is to actually grow, it sounds weird is to not stream that much. Like quality. Yeah. It's quality. And like, you're making people want it. Like my grandpa, he was like a really successful businessman, but the number I asked him one day when I was like 16 years old, I said, what's your number one piece of advice like that I could take with me for the rest of my life? He started up a successful restaurant um, like in America, but like his goal was always have people coming out the door, always have a line leading out the door. So like he never would have that many tables. He would never have that many seats because he wanted it to always be packed. That way when people are driving by that restaurant on the road, they're like, holy shit, why is there a gigantic line? So when you give like scarcity, it makes people want something more rather than streaming for 12 hours every day. So are, you sh are you sure it wasn't just because you just got a girl and that's why you're streaming less? Dude, I've been streaming four hours for the last, like, s three months probably. Okay, all right, fair, fair. Just seeing. How often do you stream? <laughs> I, bro, I know, I know. I just do podcasts. I talk to people. Oh, well, you stream sometimes. We play I game. stream, but I oh, just Let's around. get into that. We, we I four around. nights a week together. What the f*** are you talking we about? Play, dude, we play, we game all the time. But I wasn't streaming. Oh, okay. I was, I'm thinking about streaming again. Anyways. But no, obviously, out of anything in the creator space, streaming, it's like, yeah, that's Bro. yeah, that's some next level okay, Brad, time. Brad just sat up, so ask your big question. No, no. I, <laughs> about it, and I'm not saying anything you've done is fake, but is Sketch a real person? What do you mean? Like, like is it a character? Because, so Steve sent me a clip of him talking about, I want to know if this is true or not. He was talking about, like, jokingly about shitting in your shower. Did he actually shit in your shower? No, Sketch didn't shit in my shower. Sketch... Sketch is a real person. His on-stream persona is definitely played up. It's a character, but like, I've talked to him off. Like, he is funny as naturally. The dude's hilarious. You guys are hilarious together. I know. Thank you. Yeah, I think he's the f might, he might be the funniest person I've ever met. <laughs> but like, it's definitely like played up for stream for sure. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. I think that's common with almost every stream. <clears throat> he, right. I've talked to him too. He's on Twitch, right? Yeah, Sketch is on Twitch. Yeah. You guys should get Sketch on the, the pod. Dude's hilarious. We, I wanna. Talk about him, yeah. with you and uh, oh, Sneeko, you guys had a big talk about kick and Twitch. And uh, I don't know the exact words, but you said something about how, like, the kick streamers that you see, the level of content is, like, very low. And w we won't say who you referred to. No, no, no. I didn't mean, like, okay, that wasn't with Sneeko. That was with Moist. Yeah, was, or with yeah, Moist, Moist, sorry. Um, yeah, um, we, we, we weren't talking about level of content. Like, the level of content on kick. Okay, here's the thing. On Twitter, when you see a 45 second clip, it's way different than like the full 20 minute discussion. But what me and Moise were saying was like, Kick's card is, oh, you can't get banned. Like that was their original card. Now they're starting to ban creators. But like when they first started, they weren't banning anybody. So it attracted the worst type of streamers. Like the top yeah. streamers on Kick are fucking amazing streamers. They all came from Twitch, like XQC Aiden. Like those guys are 10 out of 10, like iconic streamers, right? But we were talking about the guys who are going to kick to commit crimes. Like, there's <laughs> literally people who stream themselves. I'm not even kidding. This is hilarious. F prostitutes yeah. on kick. Like, I'm sure you've seen some no, of those. You're, you're some point. of those guys weren't even getting banned at first. Now they're like tightening it up. Mm. But that's what we were talking about. Like, there's people committing crimes on the platform, not getting banned. That's wow. exactly what we were talking about. But it got taken like way out of context. That's why when we were about to like when they. How many months ago when we started like trying to do a little bit of streaming Four. on Kick? Uh, it was like November. We did our first IRL. Oh, Halloween, so October. Yeah, and then the time, obviously, the commitment is insane, which I don't think with everything else we have going on, we could really compete. But yeah, just the level of content that, that was working on Kick too. It's yeah. just not something that I would, I don't really like stooping down our content to like what is working in a time period too. And when I saw all that type of content, it's just like, it's like reality show type yeah. shit almost. Like it's just drama well, based and yeah. I think the other issue is that that's what's pushed by all these other pages, bro. So like when I think XQC said like there's a thousand other streamers on Kick, you don't see those guys. You see the ones that are doing that dumb shit, that are fighting, that are doing the crimes, right? Well, this, 
But is that a, is that a problem with like kick itself? This is the problem with the internet. I think, itself. but is yeah, that, I, I don't think know if that's a you, Jinx. Do you think that's like, a kick issue, or is that? Um, just... I don't know if it's a. It probably is a kick issue because, like, the other thing about kick is like, the reason why a lot of Twitch streamers stay on Twitch is because they have ad revenue on Twitch. Like, kick, as of right now, I don't know what it's going to look like in a couple months. Like, kick could be a bigger than Twitch one day. I have no idea. But like as of right now, there's no ads on the platform. So like the reason why Twitch is so strict and like sometimes they'll like even overly ban people is because like Twitch wants to be able to run ads on every stream. Like kick, how are you ever going to run ads on a dude who's literally f***ing a prostitute on his stream? And like there's like multiple people who have done that in front of thousands of people. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like I think it just comes down to like an advertiser thing of like what kick wants to do. But yeah, no, I mean, they have full control of banning those people. And they, they are starting to now. I think it was, like, after the Moist Pod, they, like, started banning, like, a lot of people. But, yeah, no. It's definitely in their hands, 100%. Yeah. A lot of those guys, like, disappeared. What happened to, like, Zerka and shit? Well, well no, Zerka by- got, um... I'm, you probably know more about that than me, but I'm pretty sure um, HS, right? You know HS? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they fought, and then... They did, down here in my yeah. yeah, no, they it's fought, like right and out then... There. Something legally happened where he had to leave the country. I don't even know, actually. Yeah. I have no idea. But, like, do you know about that or not? We met him once. Is he just ghost now? I, I don't know. He's still, he's still doing stuff. That guy's stuff. a f***ing nutcase. <laughs> he's crazy. He's a f***ing <laughs> nutbar, bro. But in a funny way, but yeah, yeah, he's funny. a nutcase, dude. I don't yeah. even know if he streams anymore, right? Or does he? I think he does. I think he bounces around. I think he also got kicked from... from uh, he got removed from uh, kick, uh, kick as well, but... I don't know if he's going to Rumble or not. I don't even know where he's streaming at, but I know I still see him on Twitter. Dude, if you get banned on Kick, that's like next level. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta be you gotta crazy issue. to get banned on Kick. Like getting banned on Twitch happens to a lot of people, but you gotta be insane to get banned yeah. on Kick. With that, with the Sneeko pod though, I don't know if you want to tackle this one or maybe I will. But you right. and Sneeko talked about depression and how he says like push-ups can solve that. <laughs> yeah, I think that was like the most brain cells I've ever lost in five minutes. But then like, I don't know. Like depression's obviously a real thing. Like. People die from it like every day and there's like chemical imbalances. Like it's all science. I'm like, it's all scientifically proven, but he's just saying like, well, your outlook's wrong. It's like, dude, people are fucking depressed, bro. Like that's just the reality of the situation. Do you, you think know what I mean? push-ups is a good solution? Oh bro, push-ups is I think it's amazing. a great solution. Yeah. Push-ups is a, dude, if you're feeling, if you're feeling like shit, bro, work out first and see how you feel after that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Well, I think the thing I, I, yeah, would, but what if I would agree with that. What if like, like Gabe got a number 10 combo from raising canes, he's going to be pretty happy too. Like, so it's both sides. Well, temporarily. <clears throat> yeah. Well, this whole, this whole conversation is interesting about like depression and like just doing push ups, And I see both perspectives. I definitely can speak from a perspective. Like I lost my father very young. And I think maybe if he had better things in his life going on and he was more motivated in other areas of his life that he maybe wouldn't have end up in that situation because he did take his own life and he was clinically depressed as I was told right but the whole point to it I think what Sneak was trying to get at is like obviously just doing a push-up is not just going to cure someone's depression but overall is like the people you spend time with the the circles that you're in the conversations that you have with yourself all those things can be somewhat not controlled like if you're completely in this like down point but if you do spend time, and it's obviously, it's, it's, you can't summarize and go, just do a push-up, you'll be better. It's yeah. not that simple. It's easier to say that for him for clips. Obviously, it's yeah. funnier, but like, I get what you're saying. It is a whole overall thing. Like, I do think there is a benefit to working out that and I know for a fact to make you not feel as bad. But there's all those other things in your life that like, it's hard to just say, this is all you need. Because there is so many other things that you do need to make yourself feel better and to kind of climb out of that sort of like repetitive nature of thinking. Which Dude, keeps yeah. someone in I that position. I think gym's the best depression cure. Like, well, there is gym, on the f- diet, the yeah. people yeah. you hang the around sun. with, the sun. Like, yeah. who? Like, what kind of conversations but if you're are depressed, you having? Like, give yourself two months in the gym, and if you're still like, if you become consistent, and you're able to stick to the gym for two months. So just yeah. do press. All you got to do is what you're saying is no. just do push-ups for at least two months. No, but I feel like if you give the gym a real shot and you really Absolutely. commit to it, and you like do it for like two to three months, and you're still depressed, then like explore other options. But I personally think that. If you can commit yourself to the gym, it's like... Well, it's a diet, it's a gym, yeah. it's everything. Man. Yeah. That's from my personal like, experience, the hardest, too. The hardest part of it all is people get themselves in this sort of like depression vibe, and like they just go in circles, and then the yeah. content they consume keeps them there, and the, 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 the conversations that they have with people keeps them there, and the, the lack of activity keeps them there. But yeah, I see what he's saying, but it's like it's dumbed down to like one thing, yeah. which you is could, not that simple. You could definitely see both sides. I, oh, 100%. 100%, I 100% agree with everything you just said. Like when I started... 
I'm not really, yeah, when I started blowing up, um, like about two or three months before that, I was big into like David Goggins, if you know him. Yeah. And like, I literally started jogging like every day and that changed my entire outlook on life because like two years ago, bro, I would just stream, I'd play video games for 10 hours and then every night I would order like a Domino's handmade pan pizza and oh, I felt yeah. like shit, bro. Yeah. So like when I started jogging every day, I was like, okay, you're getting out in the sunlight, even little things like you're saying what's up to your neighbors, you're yeah. getting in a good exercise, you're losing weight and it's like, okay, this is like starting to like actually change your mindset on everything else around you. I just had a problem with him saying like, it's bullshit like that and like it's a mindset. Right, I, right. I had a problem with that. Yeah, like, watering it down to that one thing. I yeah. get it. Cause like, yeah, I mean, when you look like deeper, you know, I, you know what I'm saying, but like, yeah, yeah. I, I hate when it just gets watered down to that. Yeah. Cause it's definitely a real thing. You know what I mean? For yeah. sure. But yeah. everything you said is a hundred percent accurate. Yeah. I think your response was that you're just a positive person, right? Yeah. So how do you stay so positive with, I mean, you're streaming seven days a week, people coming after you if you don't stream. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's good. Cause like without streaming, I don't, I'd probably be more depressed if I was like, um, not that I'm a depressed person. I think everyone in this room has like good days, bad days. You know what I'm saying? Of like course, everyone yeah, goes sure. through that shit. It's life, bro. But like, I think streaming keeps me busy to where I don't worry about that other shit. So I appreciate it. Like when I'm streaming for four or five hours, I'm not thinking about shit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't mind it in terms of that. Um, but yeah, like the other side of streaming, especially if you want to maintain being at the top of a mountain is like, you need to always be thinking of new shit. You need to always have energy. You can't do like lazy half ass streams. So it's like, there's that side of it, but I appreciate like being held accountable of like this many people are relying on you to show up every night. So mm. it's like dope. You know what I mean? And you, for the most part, I don't think I've ever seen you do an IRL. You always are doing desktop. The streams, first right? IRL stream I ever did was this weekend with sketch. It was the, the first one. Um, no. So the golf. cooking one was the right. day before. And then the next one we went like golfing and then we went to a basketball court and played. It was fun as Oh, I saw the basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You beat him, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. That was the first IRL stream. How's your golf game? Not great. <laughs> How's your guys' golf game? I feel like he's probably Fuck the best. I'm decent. Steinings is... You what do you mean by shooting? decent? If you play 18 holes... Like, I'll like, shoot, like, mid-80s. Mid that's pretty f What did you shoot? Consistently? Have you ever yeah. shot, like, 78? No, I've broken 80 once in my life. That's it. That's still crazy. Yeah. I think about? I've broken 90, like, two times. That's dope. That's so you're pretty good, good. Yeah. Yeah, no. I mean... Just keep working on your game, bro. You're yeah. No, I love golf. Golf's sick. Dude, yeah. Yeah. What about... You guys did cooking, too? Yeah. What'd that shit's hilarious, bro. That was so Okay, funny. so um, I'll give you the full mindset of that stream. So I didn't even know if it was allowed on Twitch at first because you were asking about that earlier. I'm like, can you even smoke weed on Twitch? Yeah. So there's like two, there's two hoops you have to jump through. Like, first off, it has to be like legal in your state. I don't even, I don't think weed's legal in Florida, but if you have like a medical card, it mm -hmm. is legal. And like we did. But like, if you have a medical card in Florida, you can smoke weed legally on stream. But the other hoop, which is a big one, is you can't get too high to where you're a danger to yourself. And like, um, this how was a how long- How the they monitor that? Well, this was a long time ago, but um, this was like over a year ago, but Kai ate edibles on stream. And I'm pretty sure he like fell asleep on stream, like to where it's like, you can't be streaming right mm -hmm. now. You know what I mean? So like that could get you banned, but that's, that's basically it. I mean, and then we, cooked like the shittiest pasta ever but it was fun yeah does twitch's rules ever like with you and stuff no i don't think so i think it's pretty easy to like stay within tos um i'm not like a psycho i don't like say wild shit but yeah no i don't think i don't think twitch has ever like held me back the only time i've ever gotten banned on twitch was when i was twerking and that was like <laughs> two years ago that was when twerking wasn't allowed now it's allowed but I was twerking. It was pretty graphic. Like, my ass was yeah. on the camera and shit. Probably a good reason to get What banned. song was playing? Um, <laughs> what? No, that's funny. That's... Dude, I think it was, like, trippy red. I don't, I don't even know what was going through my head. Have you, like, what other advice have you gotten or what other people in your life have motivated you to, like, be this driven? Because it's, it's not normal at your age to, like, you know, go this fucking hard. I don't know. Like, I don't look at it as, like, drive or, like, motivation. I just feel like in life, I'm, like so bored when I'm not progressing. You know what I mean? I get really bored really I, fast. I get that. The idea of like, cause a lot of people like long for like retirement, which I'm sure when I'm 40 or 50, I'll want to be like retired. But like the idea of doing nothing all day, like scares the scary, f out of me. Scary bro. Yeah. It's like, what do I do? Like, I'm just, yeah, I don't know. You relate to that though? Like, yeah. I just think it's funny. Cause like a lot of people try to work cause they think they want to work, get enough money so they can just like do nothing. But that sounds like death. That's like slowly waiting to die. Yeah. Doing nothing. Spenny, have you worked any jobs and shit? Because you're older, right? Yeah. So, like, what uh, is your job experience? 
Uh, I worked in a restaurant since in, I was in high school. I worked at a real estate investment firm out of college. And what was, was that like? I hated it, bro. Yeah. I hated it. Uh, I grinded poker for a little bit, shit you, like that, and then went to an assistant. S Steve's well, assistant. I actually ha have grinded pretty hard. Bob's assistant what people first, say. Yeah. Bob's yeah. assistant, then Steve's assistant. It took me a while, but uh, yeah. Yeah, Wait, Steiny, knew, Steiny was Bob's assistant. That's the worst job crazy. you could possibly have. That was have. like four years so ago. Steve, now, then I went no, to actually, no one can say that Steiny didn't work hard yeah you grind. Yeah. no i know you're grinding you took grind. physical and mental abuse like yeah bro wait you were bob menory's assistant before steve yeah, yeah. Before steve. i thought it was just steve no oh. how long were you his assistant for bob uh bob's a little over a year did oh, you like it? hate it or not really dude i was the, some of the best times of my life and it was the coolest opportunity ever because yeah. I, I think what's cool about that is like you understand how rare of an opportunity you have. And if you don't make something out of it, that's probably the only chance you're going to get. So yeah. I just grinded, and that's why I met Steve, linked up with these guys. You especially, know the grind. Yeah, especially, like, for me it was weirder because I went. Well, how long have you been streaming, honestly? Yeah. yeah um, when did you start? I was, so this is, like, I've never even said this, but, like, I was streaming when I was a freshman in high school. I was streaming when I was 15. So I've streamed on three different accounts. I started off streaming Clash Royale. Have you guys ever seen that game? Yeah. I had like 30, 40 viewers on Clash Royale. Um, then I like deleted it because I was like focused on like school and soccer or whatever. But then when I got older, I made another Twitch account, deleted that after like a year. And then my senior year of high school, I was streaming like day in, day out, no progression at all. I streamed like in 2019, I literally averaged one viewer and I probably streamed like 200 days that year. And um, I was like, dude, I may as well just go for it because when I was a senior in high school, I was lost like I didn't know what I wanted to do like everyone around you is going to college or they have like work lined up with their dad or whatever but like I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do so I was like I want to do something where like I can pour my entire like heart into it and like if it fails it's on me you know what I mean I don't want to have like my future be dependent on somebody else what made you pick streaming then? I was gaming when I was like nine and like I've always been really good at just running my mouth talking for hours so my dad was actually the one who was like you could easily do this because in 2000, I think it was like 17 or 18 when all the Fortnite streamers were blowing up, like Nick Merckx, Ninja, Tifu, like all the f legends. Um, he's like, dude, you could easily do this. Like you play video games every day. I was always like the best at video games in my friend group, which doesn't really mean much, but I was always more of like a funnier guy. Like in school, I could make people laugh. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so it was just hand in hand. Like, cause the two key components to streaming is like, you either need to be insanely good at a game or like insanely funny. And if you can captivate both, you're like off to the like moon. So when like, did, when did, when did like your streams really start to like pick up? Um, in the start of 2023, it was like December of 2022, January of 2023. I went from like 1000 average viewers to like 4,000 because someone posted a clip on TikTok of me opening alpha packs and it got like, nine million views in like 20 hours and i was like holy shit and then i'm looking at my dashboard and i see i got like seven thousand followers like overnight from this one clip because the clip and then like so then what happened was that guy started clipping my shit every day other guys started clipping my shit because like the guys that clip shit get paid like if they make it that's a whole nother discussion but like if you make a clip one minute long you can get paid off of it per views so like by TikTok? Yeah. By TikTok, yeah. directly. Like, yeah, you know, but like, like... Over a minute. Over yes. a minute. As long as it's over 60 seconds, you'll get paid. Whether you get like 500 views, you'll get like one cent probably. But like the CPM sucks, but like some of them are like making like 20K a month just clipping. Like, yeah. And like some of them are like 18 years old, like with a doctor's salary. But they have to post over a minute videos. Have to be over a minute and you have to be in the program for it. But like, yeah. then I see all these other accounts popping up of like... Um, this guy's clipping this. And I think this clip era started with Andrew Tate. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so when I started seeing like, okay, there's like 20 new accounts in the last two weeks, I'm like, okay, here we go. Like it's starting now. And I was like, I'm not going to f*** this up. I'm going to go even harder because like I finally got like the one chance I wanted. So I sunk like all my time into it because I was like, okay, it's happening now. You know what I mean? All right, boys. Sorry to interrupt the pod, but... Packing up for a trip right now. One thing I always bring on the trip with me, Manscaped. 
You guys know on the pod, I do not advertise anything that I don't actually use. I fucking love Manscaped, all right? First of all, the reason I love manscaped.com is because it's a one-stop shop for everything you need, all right? You don't gotta browse around to different websites. Manscaped has everything you need to stay fresh, stay clean. And boys, we can't be rocking, we can't be rocking full on bushes anymore. Gambles, he rocks the bush. That's why he doesn't, he never pumps and he has a girlfriend, which is sad. You should take this home. Take the box home after, okay? All right, actually I have a whole box for you there. This is mine. But yeah, look at this fucking razor. It looks like Elon Musk made it. This razor is fucking insane. It's so fire. I use it for the bush and I use it for my face. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, but I do it. It works perfect on both. Dude, they got fucking ball deodorant. If you're trying to get like a post gym pill and you don't have time to shower, just rip a little, little sack, little sack D. They got all the different trimmers you need. They have everything guys. So if you haven't been pulling and you just need to stay groomed up, stay fresh, go to manscaped.com. We got you boys on a code. Code NELK's gonna get you 20% off the entire website and free shipping fucking insane deal free shipping deals are insane so go to manscaped.com boys summer's coming up you know we're getting shredded and yeah no more bushes you can't be rocking full-on bush at least trim it up a little bit no full-on fucking amazon jungles and shit boys go to manscaped.com code now 20 percent off free shipping let's get back into the pot. another Damn. thing with streaming is i feel like you don't have to put that much money into it too so like with youtube when you get to that point you gotta sink a lot of money into these videos like for you right you, you don't like have to do anything too crazy, dude. Yeah, like it's pretty. If the whole concept of it, like you're pretty much sitting at your desk, pull up some stuff to react to, game. Like it's, not, I don't want to say it's simple. You have to be unique, but the concept of it, like anyone can really just do it, dude. Yeah, no, I mean, I got partnered on Twitch, which is averaging 75 viewers. It's getting verified. You get like perks and benefits. I got partnered on Twitch, streaming off of my Xbox on a TV, not even a monitor. Like for gaming, you're always supposed to have a monitor. Bro, I remember I opened my bank account um, when I was like 18. I had $125. I spent 100 on a monitor because I broke that TV. I opened my bank account with $25. I put the first Twitch check I got, I put all of my money right back into my setup. Got a face cam, which is so important. Got a green screen. And then it was just like at, like over after that. Like I started like really picking up traction. Okay, how crazy, crazy bags these days or what's... <laughs> what do you mean on streaming? Well, you got to be doing pretty well now, right? Yeah, it's like well, wasn't it five bucks a, a, a subscriber or some shit? Um, I feel like Twitch takes most of it now. It depends. So it's all it all depends. Like for for sub specifically, um, if you're like a top streamer, you can negotiate a split, um, like where you get because like the standard is like fifty fifty, but like top streamers, like you can negotiate a split, and they recently dropped like this partner program where you get like a seventy thirty split, but like. I can't like obviously get into that because it's all like shit. I can't. You have get a into. deal with Twitch specifically, then. Not you don't like, have to say the deal. You don't but have yeah. to say. No, I was just saying more like you're, the money's starting to come in. Like you got to be doing pretty well since the day you bought the face. He's wondering when you're gonna buy well, Rolex I mean, and Flex. Well, I mean, you like, number one streamer, you get the money, you get the girl. How's okay, that, how's I that mean, going? Obviously, like I'm, I have like money, but it's like I'm. You know what I mean? I'm. It's the same. It's the same shit as like any other thing. Like if you're doing really well on YouTube, you have money. Like, um, but that's not like the goal of streaming. I just do it because I love doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when you started your YouTube channel, was your like? Beyond, I was just doing it for fun, bro. Exact, bro. Yeah. You, and now it's the people see the vibe of it. Like with Nelk, like people see like, oh, these guys are literally just fucking around, having a good time, yeah, and making funny shit, and like. If it turns into something, it does. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. It's not like, oh, I'm doing this to be rich and famous. Yeah. Like, that's like the worst mindset ever. Definitely. If you love it, like you'll never run out of a drive or a passion for it. You know 100%, what I mean? 100%. 100%. Yeah. Uh, uh, it goes with any kind of relationship. <laughs> Good, man. Good? Yeah, I, I knew you were going to ask about that. I feel that. like there's Dude, some, yeah. like, some like weird personal Dude, well, thing here. What's going well, on? No, no, no. It's not a personal it thing. when you're trying to balance a career and a girl, bro. So I'm just checking in, making sure you're good. Yeah, no, I mean, it's going great man i knew you were eventually gonna ask about it i do you have a do you have a so crush? What, you're locked yeah i mean like yeah i'm locked in but do you have a crush on her or what yeah like what the uh, f I, dude i thought i was dating her so i think there might be an issue there i, I well, wasn't gonna say well, anything but since you said it i mean steiny's probably really jealous i think he's well, just playing it off but so I, I, holy no, steiny, you, say it. tell the truth tell the truth here go steiny you asked her on a date didn't you <laughs> like a couple yeah. months ago no i did yeah just one Wait, wait. It was like it, it was like two a.m., bro. So don't like get ahead of yourself. It wasn't like a four p.m. thought out text. It was like a yo, no, I don't care. yo dude, what are you doing shoot, right whoa. now? Shoot or shoot, man. No, I'm kidding. Um, I will say you're uh, not. 
She gets <laughs> people. People kidding. kind of shit on her, but she's she's actually cool as fuck. Well, so. yeah. I mean, everybody that shits on and her I'm gonna, has, I'm has not, never like yeah. I'm gonna stay away too. You don't have to worry about that. I'm not gonna yeah, hit man. her up no more. Appreciate I'll you, that. I'll let you have your fun for yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I'm. You scare me. <laughs> I think you're, he was I'm worried. Very threatened. <laughs> but um, no, yeah. I mean, anybody that's especially when you're meeting someone who's literally posting TikToks, especially if it's like troll funny shit, like they've never met that person off of a camera. You know what I mean? So it's like their opinion is already so jaded. Like, I feel like with streaming, it's way easier for people to get in touch with you as a person. Cause like you're in front of that camera for four or five hours a day. Talk, like sometimes I'll talk about what wings I want to order tonight. Like you get very personal with a streamer, but if someone doesn't stream and they're literally posting TikToks, bro, it's like, how are you even going to, how are you going to have an actual opinion on a person? You know what I mean? Yeah. hundred percent. How do you guys like, are, are you going to, do collabs and have the relationship, or is it? Gonna well, be, I mean, at you first, have done it, right? At first, it was just like a stream thing, but um, like I'd prefer, like me personally, like I don't want to intertwine the internet with a relationship too much because the internet psychotic, yeah. so psycho. Yeah. So I mean, like I mean, we. Both, How do you balance that though? If it's doing so well, I mean, just you have to like sit down with yourself and be like, I mean, the, if, do you want the internet intertwined with like? You don't. Yeah. You, know, you don't. You don't. Because like the internet's. Super. And, like, that's the thing. It's not even the internet. 95% of the internet is cool as f It's just that 5% of, like, what the f is wrong with this guy? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I mean, preferably, you know, occasionally we could collab or whatever, but, like, less and less off camera. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's like, it's the f internet. You know Pressure's I mean? on, too. You, gotta, you better keep that number one spot. This guy is, like, really Yo. trying to insert himself. <laughs> now that you said Stein, he's going to start streaming. He might go. Around, bro. Could you ever see yourself streaming? Yeah. I could really? For sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, dude. Well, now that you know Brecky likes streamers, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, but like I'll, I'll game with Brad and it, like just our conversations are funny as f while we're just playing for fun. And I'm like, yeah, I think uh, I kind of want to do it too because I think it's what game I would think, you play though? Like, what would you do? Fortnite 2K, and then I think reactions. Like, I think for instance, the problem with the podcast is like when let's talk about like P. Diddy and Meek Mill situation is really hot. Since you're streaming that night, you can talk about it that night. Like, since we do the pod yeah. once a week, it might that shit might already be old, so yeah. we can't talk about it. It's so I think that turnaround's way longer. Yeah. yeah, that's what I think is really unique and different about streaming, and why like streamers are able to get clips so much is because it's so hot and you do it every night. Dude, it's it's actually crazy. Like, of what you just said is genius. By the way, like what you said is true. If you're doing a podcast once a week, those trends are old, bro. Yeah. Like you're doing it once a week. But if you're streaming and people in your chat are like, "Yo, this just happened," yeah. you can run to TikTok and like report on it, and then it gets clipped. It's actually it doesn't even make sense in my brain how famous and how much of an influence streamers have like speed kai aiden like the amount of influence streamers have is fucking insane like oh yeah they're up there with like rappers like it or even more like it's actually crazy yeah i mean like, yeah kai even is like it's just a different you level never know now. who you're gonna it's, it's that fucking crazy bro. bro well the immediateness of it like you said it really is really a part of that impact like having the reactions as fast as you can and then people coming and seeing you and your reaction to it because they're looking for it right away somewhere on TikTok. And then if they've already kind of known you or seen you, they're more engaging with you. So like, I guess I guess on that, like, do you see that changing? Because I, I really wonder what the future of streaming is. Like, is it just going to keep going down this like super high speed road of like, you have to be on the shit right away? Because the internet just seemingly becoming more and more like, you have to be like, quicker, quicker, yeah, it's like, quicker. yeah, everything is about turnaround time. So it's almost like, do just do more people make content have to start streaming? Dude. Yeah. As like boring or like not even boring as depressing as it sounds, people's a, not people kids gone, attention span gone. is getting even worse day by day because of TikTok. So I don't see, I, I see streaming getting even more like short term of like, everything's fast. You're reacting to shit. Boom. TikTok circulates. Cause you know, I mean, you're plugged into the streaming shit. Like, I know yeah. you are. I've seen you talk to streamers. Like, yeah. TikTok is f everything. So, like, if people's attention spans are, like, fried, like, streamers are, like, the guy. Because everything's live. Everything happens fast. And the other element of streaming before TikTok, like, really took it over was, like, people love the idea of, like, it's live. Anything could happen. Yeah. Like, there could be, like, disaster. Someone could, like, get banned. Like, people love that element. Because, like, YouTube... YouTube's dope because you can edit shit and chop it up from like the creator POV, but from the viewer POV, they love the idea of like anything could happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's live. Personally, you spend more time on TikTok than like IG. Oh my, yeah, yeah. I, I think I made my, I made my Instagram account like two months ago. Like I don't 
You never even had IG like that? Never had IG, no. Really? And I made a Snapchat account like two months ago. Like, all I'm plugged into is like TikTok. And it'd be my advice to any other streamers. Like, see what's trending and like, um, just find where you can fit into it. Like, if yeah. it makes sense. Like, if you're a streamer where like your thing is like sports, don't report on politics. But like, find where it plugs into your content and just go with it. That, like, feel, that feels genuine though. Yeah, ride when, waves yeah. and just like speak from the heart because like it's like kyle was saying earlier like you want to build an actual audience of not just people who are like watching you to be like oh if, is this guy going to get punched in the face Jack right now Doherty, like, you yeah. want to yeah you want to watch streamers who are like if the way to build a long-term community is finding people that actually f with you yeah and just be yourself like there's only one of you and there's eight billion other people like did your did your tiktok blow up like when you started getting big off streaming because it's not like you don't post like clips from your stream on your TikTok, right? You post like organic content on TikTok. Yeah. So I never posted my, I actually used to post my clips um, from my stream on my TikTok. And I'm like, why are these not doing that good? And I'm like, then I thought about it. It's like, well, there's a thousand other pages clipping it. So what I need to do is I need to give people new content, like behind the scenes shit. Like even like some of my biggest videos ever is like me going to buy shoes at a mall. I've and like, seen that one. Yeah. That video has like 15 million views and it's literally me just walking around a shitty mall like in my hometown and I'm like trying on boots and shit. It's like people love... And are you the, surprised when that does that good? No, because I know like this is the first time they've ever seen it. If I'm posting a clip, they've probably already seen it because there's, like I said, there's like by now, I don't even know, there's probably like realistically 15,000 to 20,000 different TikTok pages consistently clipping my shit. So it's like, if I'm posting a stream clip, I'm a f idiot. Like, yeah. it's already been You're just like a yeah. mouse. That's yeah. smart. I yeah. mean, people want to see you out of that streaming element. But Dude, your TikTok, your personal TikTok account is fucking... Oh, shit. Your personal TikTok account is fucking, like, ridiculous, the numbers. Yeah. Um, especially, like, in the last, like, probably three months. But, like, almost every TikTok is, like, 10 to 20 million views. Because I understood, like, people love that behind-the-scenes shit. Like, dude, I mean... I know you don't really like post on TikTok, but like people see you in like whenever we post something raw, it does well. Yeah, dude, yeah. Yeah. better than the, yeah. the other shit. Like people, even if it's like if if it's me making a fucking burrito, people love that shit because it's like this is something I've never seen before, and they like to see you out of that chair sometimes, out of that streaming chair, and doing something like relatable and real. Because like then they you know, know you're a f human. Not just yeah, a they know you're. A human being and not a robot yeah what, what do you think about their their talks about tiktok like being banned they keep talking about this i'd jump through this window right here um, <laughs> uh like if i don't think tiktok's ever going to get banned i think yeah. it was they're threatening it so it gets out of the i don't know the name of the company that owns it but they want it to get out of their ownership i, I don't know much about it tiktok's probably not getting banned if it does then gg i guess Yo. GG. <laughs> i mean um, it's just whoever has more money and who has who's lobbying better yeah, I feel I mean, like no, there's some about Biden signing some some bill, right? Yeah, and the Congress thing. But there's so much there's so much money in TikTok, even from like American companies. It's just like why would they want it to be out of there as well? You know, like so many people are making money off of TikTok. Yeah, right? I heard yeah. I heard YouTube lobbies like heavy, heavy. Probably because I mean TikTok's got to be millions the reason why. Millions. Yeah, TikTok's got to be the reason why. Like YouTube seems to be less sort of the sought after place to go make content now because of the, the definitely clip way less. Yeah. I feel like it's still. Still massive, but it's obviously lost. Yeah, TikTok, especially with the younger generation. Yeah. Well, the big thing with TikTok is like the data mining and shit, right? Like that, because like, um, I'm think I don't even know. I have no idea anymore. So I'm I want to like preface it by saying that, but I think it's owned by like China, right? Yeah. So like, I know the CEO. Yeah. When you have like CEO and me talked actually recently. When you have like these guys that are running the country that are like seventy years old, they don't use TikTok. They don't give a if they find out that another country has like personal information, they're going to feel like some type of way about it. So I think they want to move ownership to a different company. That's like, yeah. I think American owned or something. I don't even know the full story of it. Yeah. But yeah, no, that, that I've had some sleepless nights thinking about TikTok. And Imagine things. it. You're like, yeah. fuck. Yeah. Cause that's like the whole, I owe everything to fucking TikTok. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like if I ever met one of my TikTok clippers in real life, I would like hug them. Like those yeah. guys are fucking dope, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. They definitely, that yeah. helps a lot. What uh, else besides TikTok do you think is like the biggest, besides the content itself and the originality in it, what other platforms do you think have the biggest like push for a streamer to get, you know, big? YouTube is gigantic. Like, um, 
I was talking to like, I've talked to so many people about Twitch because I can talk about streaming forever, but like Twitch is a bubble. There's not really that big of an audience compared to YouTube. So like with Twitch, when you get to like the point of like you're averaging 100,000 viewers, you become like the trend of a website. Like it's only like the bubble is following you around. Like the bubble will follow around any top streamer. But like with YouTube, uh, Twitch is almost like a lake and YouTube's an ocean, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. YouTube is, fu I mean, bro, you know, like, yeah. YouTube is fucking insane. Like, you can literally talk, you can touch the whole world with YouTube. Like, when you get a fucking iPhone, YouTube's on that phone. Like, you know what I mean? Like, does, does a Twitch do anything for you when you become number one? Like, um, what do you mean by do anything? Like, is there any accolade or do they, like, he's reach out to you? Like, anything. is there anything like, do do? that happens? No, I have a, Wait, I have a, I said he's wondering if they do you off or anything. Well, I mean, I don't, you're saying it's a smaller platform, it's so if you're the number one guy, you're doing a lot for them. It's not that it's a smaller platform. I'm just comparing it to YouTube, which is, like, the biggest. Sure. Like, YouTube, it's a search YouTube might be bigger than TikTok. Like, YouTube's gigantic. What about, what about when, how is your in Kai's relationship since, like. Dude, I love Kai. Yeah. Kai is, um, Kai is an actual good human being, which is, like, it gets hard to see that when, like, you're, you have so much money and so much fame, because he does. Kai's international but like i've talked to kai off stream like bro he's like he loves his mom he loves his family he's very religious like he's a good human being and he understands the impact that he has on his viewers so like like kai is an actual like really good person like yeah. i love kai what was the whole i know this is kind of outdated but what was the montclair thing oh that's like super dumb but yeah uh we <laughs> We were doing a Madden wager, and um, we were playing for, like, I think it was, like, $5,000, I'm pretty sure. And um, when I won, I said, "It's this is going into a purple Montclair. And then I actually bought one with his money, like, when I got it. So it was just, like, a funny thing. Oh, no, okay. but I love Kai. Like, actually. Yeah. What's, what's your best game right now? Best game? Like, favorite game to play or the game I'm best at? Both. I'm sleeper good at FIFA. Um, I was, like, semi-professional at Clash Royale. I'm kind of washed now. Good at R6. Favorite game to play right now? Probably like FIFA. I play FIFA off stream. I love FIFA, but FIFA's so dead. Yeah. Like FIFA's so shit now. FIFA used to be peak. I always see you play. You're always playing Madden. Well, that was just because like I was super into football. It happens to me every year. I always come back to Madden. Yeah. Like when it's playoff season and it's, <laughs> I always find my way back to Madden, dude. It's hilarious, Brad. You're pretty. You're pretty ass at. Or what are you gonna <laughs> ass at? What? You're ass at Fortnite. You're the most selfish player. It's kind of you in person. Okay. <laughs> always, okay. Let me explain you this. You don't shit. even. He doesn't know how to revive. Let me explain how shit. he plays Fortnite. Okay. This is how. This is how Stani thinks he's good at Fortnite because he <laughs> talks the most on the comms. Does produces absolutely no damage, no kills, no nothing. <laughs> He'll go, bro. We lost because you. And it's like I'll have ten kills. We'll have none. And he'll be like, I lost because of you. Just because he was saying it's shit. A, it's a team game and. Yeah, and if I go down, there's no thought of but yo, you I can't even go, I should go help him out. It's hero mode. Let me be the man. Let me get the dub. Bro, I have to because he doesn't kill anyone. I have to, to <laughs> protect him. Dude, you'd be a good siege player then because like comms is so important in siege, not really in Fortnite. That's my point. Like, Thank you. Honestly, sometimes with Fortnite, don't you think it's better to just have your teammates shut up so you can hear? Shit? Yeah, so I could shoot. Hey, but how good of a communicator am I? Bro, you just talk to talk. You Half the time, you're like, where are you at? You Like, we both have the same mini-map. You know that you're way far <laughs> away from me. You don't got to be across the field and be like, where were you? You okay. knew where I was. All right, all right. He's bad. He's really bad, dude. Wait, how, terrible. how old are you and how old is Steiny? 20s. What 20s. do you mean 20s? Like my, mid, mid 20s? Mid late 20s? <laughs> is this like personal info? No, I'm 29. Okay, so you're 30. And then how old is Brad? <laughs> 29, 34. actually. <laughs> okay. You're 34 for every year bro you're bro i've been no i'm 30 he's 38 dude no that's insane you google my age bro hey, i know you got some wikipedia guy changing that shit. bro you were 34 it's last google year. dude well dude to be fair you guys are never competing with the 15 year olds who are just playing yeah like, fortnite is crazy like fortnite is like all mechanics like there's no brain thing like there is thinking like there's a lot of intelligence that goes into fortnite but if you compare it to any other top shooter it's nothing it's all about like how fast can you take this guy's wall and can you 200 pump him and how fast are your edits like like Fortnite oh, we play is, no build we play no build yeah. good good yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll have fun. more fun in that Fortnite is just like no thought like just that's why it's mechanics. so much fun though yeah no Fortnite's fun as Fortnite's never going anywhere we should play us three maybe we're a trio I'm d we're a trio what me and him will carry. Like you can play two if you want. Squash. I, I've never, I've never we'll have to carry. You're too cool. You're too cool. You have to carry him. I only ripped. I only ripped COD, bro. That was the game that I just devoted days and hours to. Yeah. 
I miss COD, the golden days when it was so good. Were you in the COD golden days? Oh my God, bro. Call of Duty too, bro. That like, that was like, I mean, you guys are like a little older than me. But you guys probably played MW2, right? MW2, yeah. Black, yes. Black Ops 1, Ever. Black Ops 2. Dude, yeah. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 was when I was like, okay, this is, playing video games is my favorite thing ever. Like, yeah. I found that out in Black Ops 2. Yeah. That game, when you have like seven people, you're playing from like 8 p.m. to like 4 a.m. with your boys. Like, there's nothing else like that. Like, gaming is crazy. Like, yeah. there's nothing else like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just the best thing ever, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just with the boys getting like homophobic on there and shit, just saying whatever the f you want, dude. And, and when you're, when you're <laughs> no one in, cared. Yeah, when you're loading Golden. into a Call of Duty Black Ops Two lobby and I'm 11 years old, 12 years old, and people are telling me they're gonna f my mom. Yeah. It's, like, it's like, bro, like I became a man on that. Yeah, game. yeah, straight up. Did you ever lose your temper when someone really dissed you? No, not really. I mean, like. A lot of the people that were like really mad at me were like 30 because I was a squeaker. You know, so Yo, the easiest guys were dude. to go out were the guys with the deep voices that were definitely yeah. like 40. It's like, dude, dude that, what are you doing? That was their only trip too, eh? They're like, your voice is so high and shit. <laughs> yeah. Dude, and it's like, your nuts haven't even dropped. And yeah. this guy's 30. I can hear his baby crying in the background. <laughs> yeah. Take care of your kid, bro. I can hear his baby crying in the background. And he's telling me he has a relationship with my mom. Like, bro, <laughs> your baby's crying, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. Those guys are easy pickings. What, uh, how do you pick? How early on and how do you come up with your creative? So if you have a stream tonight, like, would you have it planned out before? Or do you Quick just... question. Does Steiny run the pod kind of in a way of like questions? A little bit. It depends on the episode. A little bit. Depends yeah. on, I mean, it depends on who depends the guest Depends on the guest. Like sometimes me or Kyle connect and Brad's just there. Depends on the guest <laughs> though, probably. <laughs> Yo, the shade on me is great. <laughs> no, no. Everybody Whoa. connects with whoever. No, yeah. That's is that fair. a compliment though? Because I'll take it. No, no. I mean, yeah, I think you do a pretty Dude, decent I'm, job. I'm going to tell you, like, you've been talking about streaming just becomes so popular. Like, I've kind of become fascinated with it because I think it really is the future of everything. Yeah. And so, like, all, all these new guys I've just paid attention to, and then it just becomes my TikTok. He's also yeah. really interested in your girl. That's why he's, like, extra yeah. invested no, I know. in this well, That's what it takes. I'll stream. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. What was your question, though? It was a good question. No, like, how do you plan your streams out? How often do you have them planned out the creative. prior? Dude, yeah. schedules, like, scare me. Like, having, like, a calendar scares the shit out of me. I like to wake up, go outside, like, sit by my, like, lake, smoke a cigar, and just start thinking about, like, oh, I haven't done this. This did really well because like the idea and mindset I would give to any streamer is like just when you're starting at ground zero, just try different shit. Like when I was averaging one viewer in 2019 for like 228 streams or something, I was streaming 2K. I was streaming uh, Black Ops. And then like my cousin told me to try Siege. And then I was like, oh, now I have seven viewers. Like try different shit, see what works. And then mm -hmm. like. Always make sure you bring back the classics, but don't do the same shit every time. And like my community gets pissed about it and they say like, my community is just something else. But like they'll say like recycled content. It's like, if you guys want me to stream every night for five hours a night, you're going to see the same shit like some nights. Because it's like, I'm not, not going to think of something every night. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You're not really, you're more just on the, the winging it. What, you completely wing it. Yeah. yeah. So just, that's good though. Yeah, I, I don't like having like the next seven days planned out. That's like terrifying. Yeah, I like being able to just like kind of do whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when did you when did you start on YouTube? Good question. My cousin told me to start on YouTube because he's like, "You're a idiot if you don't start on YouTube." Um, but honestly, I was late. Like, I started on YouTube probably like eleven months into streaming, and by then, I was probably averaging like three, four hundred viewers, and like I still wasn't on YouTube. But like, yeah, what made you like want to? like try YouTube like because it was just, a big thing just, I was always good at making videos like I would edit them I would film them I would do like the whole process like I wanted to be like a filmmaker so I was good at the whole process of like making videos so I mean me and my friends would shoot like funny shit serious shit but then just uploading it and like just literally doing it for fun like I wanted to be a YouTuber too and then just yeah same shit slowly getting views then I would make like 500 bucks a month bro that's and, and when I high because it's like yeah and I dude. saw people that were like that made it yeah. And I was like, there's no way you can make a living being a YouTuber. Yeah. Like that, that would just be the dream. Right. So dude. And like, I'm sure even when you made your first $500, you were like, bro, I made 500 bucks doing something I love doing. 100%. So it's like, I'd rather make 500 bucks doing that than make 5,000 doing something I hate. You yeah. know what I mean? Now I mean, that you're here, you kind of like, you like didn't think you'd get here, but you also like kind of knew you would at the same time. Yeah. It's like weird to explain. Dude. <laughs> yeah. So that's no. probably how I, you feel. I just related to what you just said yeah. so much. Like, when I had one viewer, I was like, everyone around you, especially when you're starting, I'm sure you have the same shit. 
People are going to call you delusional and crazy. Yeah. The same people that do that are the first ones that congratulate you when it works off. It's like, dude, fuck you. Like, yeah. you said I was crazy from the start. Like, to be like insanely successful in a field like YouTube or Twitch, you have to be crazy at the start. Like, for sure. When you look at the math, you're like, oh, there's a 99% chance, 99.9% .9 chance I fail. But you have to be like fed up in the head, to yeah. be honest. Like, you have to be like, I can eat shit for 12 months, get one viewer every stream, but it's going to take a SWAT team to get me out of this chair to stop me from streaming. Cause like, I know I can do it. Like, cause you also have to be honest with yourself. Like a lot of people want to stream, but it's like, bro, you're boring as fuck. you don't have a face cam on. You don't even edit like, or not edit. You don't have like any energy. You're playing shitty games. Like it's not going anywhere. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like, like, what was your schedule like when you were starting YouTube? Like, did you plan shit out or did you just completely wing it? No, we were pretty, we were pretty strategic and planned. I mean, as much as you can, right? But I yeah. think, dude, we almost quit many times. Yeah. Like, th there was times where we're just like, yo, this is not working. We're not getting views. I think we even debated just, like, managing talent. Yeah. Like, just because we knew the back end. We knew how to shoot and edit. And we're just like, oh, let's, like, maybe manage this influencer and do their shit. But then I think we just said... um, we need to upload three times a week, which was yeah. pretty crazy. <laughs> like, yeah, like nice. now we upload like once a month, but yeah. three shoot and edit and post three times a week. And that's what we did. Yeah. And we just hit the road, didn't come back. And then Dude, just three yeah, times a week, no matter what. And I, we were editing the videos too. Yeah. And then, yeah. Your grind is crazy. And it's actually, when he talks about that, it's crazy to think that you never had like a, a I don't want to say real job, but like a normal job. Yeah. You should do an IRL think, of you working in I, a I was thinking of doing fast food yeah. chain. I was thinking of doing a vlog where I like work at Chipotle for a day. That'd be Dude, sick. you have to. Yeah. But bro, like when you were first starting, um, and like, let's say, you know, you, obviously you didn't get any traction at first. What do you think was like the main motivator of like, I'm going to keep going? Like, did you have full faith that it was going to work out or were you kind of just on the fence? I, I, like, like you said, like you always just have that yeah. faith for some reason. You're in the head, bro. You, you got know what I mean? in the head it's yeah. like it's kind of like a blind faith yeah now that you're here it's like damn this is pretty crazy but you always had a feeling it would have worked out yeah you know no i love that answer it's yeah. like you but never... like you when you start to get that like a thousand views and you know like okay wait something i have mm -hmm. something here i think we did the same thing we went you have all way in. more belief yeah way more belief so like for now was there like a was there a like breakthrough a point? point or was it kind of just natural, slow? Because like for it me, was, it was, was kind of just natural, slow like that. Yeah, it was yeah. slow. And I think that's why we have such like a diehard cult oh my God, fan yeah. base, right? Because there was never that one video. Like I think our first big one was the Coke prank. That was like that a big one. That video was insane. Yeah, We're like, that was like the first viral where it got yeah. like, I think it was even just like, yeah, a million in a day or some shit like that. Yeah. But you guys were but, already doing well before that. Like doing yeah, we good were enough to where like. Decent. Yeah. I don't even know if we were at 100K at that point, but yeah. Dude, my f you want to know my favorite Nelk video ever? Mm -hmm. It was the um, wine tour where Steve oh, yeah. got hammered. Yeah. Wine that, tour is legendary, bro. Because like you have all these rich f***s who are like 50, and Steve is just f***ing wasted. I know. We and actually then, watched that like two weeks ago. Dude, both that's my parts. favorite video ever, bro. I didn't even realize how crazy it was, no, bro. No, yeah, and then like... Steve was a f animal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The most up part about steve was he was in good shape too yeah and well like, that's what made him cool is because it's not like he was a fat drinker like he was yeah, like because then it's kind of depressing yeah to look exactly at, but like steve was shredded bro uh -huh. and like this guy yeah. could drink i'm glad that we like handled it perfectly where like we kind of like called it quits at the right time at the right time because there's yeah. no way that would have ended well dude that's what i was gonna this was like um <laughs> this is a question i've wondered like do you ever like could you ever see yourself going going back to like just getting piss hammered like riding around the f country like or do you think like you're at a point in your career where it's like dude like i'm i'm not like i'm not gonna be a kid forever you know what i mean that's kind of what i'm that's kind of like why we haven't uploaded in like four months it's because like yeah for me it's like it's kind of like a personal battle too it's like do i want to be doing that yeah. do i want to be doing that do people even want to see that what do they want to see us do? Like, yeah, I'm 29 too. I'm turning 30 this year. That was a really good question because that, we talk about that all the time. But also, I think the financial is way different. Like, you yeah. kind of, we at that point when you guys were doing it, you kind of had to do that, and now it's a little different where that's not a requirement to get content. I don't yeah, think I it was think had to do it though. I, I think I think huh? it's just like I don't think it was had to do. I it. think we were kind of just going on a little health grind for a little bit, and I wanted to just focus on that and like achieve that. But 
we just shot a funny ass video this week. So I personally still love making videos and shit. Yeah. But yeah, I think with the the drinking too, it's kind of we always say like, dude, drinking for us is actually like productive and beneficial, which just becomes scary a bit. Like even on like old trips, like we wouldn't be like drinking one day and we wouldn't get any content. And then like we'd all look at each other and just be like, all right, yo, we got to get fucked up <laughs> straight up. And then we'd get the best shit ever. No matter where we were, like even in Europe, we're like, yo, we don't really want to drink today. Oh like, God, let's just Europe. let's just go do this for content. Not we're not getting anything. We're like, all right, yo, we got to drink. But you know, you know, and what then makes... we drink best video ever. Right. How do you know when like we know now when we have like a banger video, how do you know when you just put out like that? Yo, that was a fire stream or that was a great stream. Like how do just you determine like... that if you do it so often? Yeah, it's not even, I don't really like base it off of numbers. Like, oh, this stream had this many viewers. Like, yeah, sure. Like, whatever. That's cool. But like, for example, this weekend, like when it was just like, I, when I do something new and people love it, that's what I would say. Like when I was like getting high with sketch and like, it was the funniest shit yeah. ever. Like I woke up, there's like all these clips on TikTok of like the like funniest shit I've ever seen. So I'm like, oh, like. People actually fucking love this. Like, I took a risk on something. Mm -hmm. I did something totally new, and people actually loved it. So it's so motivating of like, oh, people love when I do different shit. You know what I mean? Dude, nothing is better than when you film a video and you're or you're just having the best time doing it, and yes. it, and it does well. Because I had, dude, I made money getting high and cooking shitty pasta. Like that's <laughs> yeah. literally like the life goal. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Does content ever feel like work for you sometimes? Some of the shit you do? Sometimes, yeah. Like especially when it's like you're streaming every day for years and like. Some of the shit you've done so many times, it's like, okay, like, you know, I wish I could just, but like streams like that are special where like you have a guest come out and you do that. So like, I understand and appreciate that it can't happen every night, but yeah, sometimes definitely, I feel like anything else, like it does feel like work eventually. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure you felt like that before. Yeah. Are you, we just shot a video this week and it was fun as f so fun. Yeah. So fun. Are yeah. you going to, are you going to try to like, obviously like not letting things get stale. Are you going to try to start involving more like creators and do collabs and like, who do you want to collab with? Dude, the number one person I want to collab with is Speed because like recently he got unbanned on Twitch like a couple months ago. But I've collabed with like almost everyone I've wanted to. Like I've collabed with Aiden. I've always wanted to do that. I've collabed with um, Queso, Sketch, Kai. Like I've collabed with like all these creators that I love. Um, but Speed would be like the number one person. Yeah. Do you, do would you ever see yourself going outside of like the creator space and trying to like involve like the I guess. I don't know if you call it celebrity, even though creators at this point kind of are in a sense. But you know how Kai goes and he's like working with hip hop people. Like, would you ever go out and do sort of stuff like that? Oh, my God, I would love to. The problem with like the only issue I see with having a rapper on your stream is like, are they going to be like good and comfortable on a stream? Because like you have rappers like Uzi where like it's the most entertaining thing you've ever seen. Like he's done Aiden streams. He's done Kai streams. Uzi is the most entertaining person on a stream. But like when you have other rappers that are like awkward as fuck. It's like, I don't want to do a stream where I'm uncomfortable and they're uncomfortable. Yeah. It have to be somebody that I love. Like, and like, I know they're good on streams. Like Uzi's like a perfect example. He's probably the best rapper on a stream. I'd say. I see. Yeah. Not like Playboy Cardi showing up and leaving really early. That was crazy. Yeah. Dude, we were talking about earlier, like reporting on like news and shit. Bro, I wasn't even able to stream that night. I would have talked about that for like two hours. That was the f most, that was the best six minutes in internet history. I wonder if they stream. planned that. No, 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 that was so raw. But even that's like huge for Aiden, right? Like that was everywhere. That was oh, it went more viral. Yeah. Bro, 100%. Yeah. Exactly. I yeah. said the same thing when I was like, obviously Aiden got like, he definitely got scammed like money wise, but like that was the most clipped six minutes in streaming history easily, yeah. bro. <laughs> so like that was fucking, that was everywhere. Yeah. yeah. I saw, I think and it, that's Aiden's thing is like, he always kind of gets like punked and just like, it's so <laughs> yeah. funny. He plays it off so yeah. well. Right. Yeah, the 21 Savage shit, too, with the cards. Like, yeah. yeah. Aiden's gotten f***ed over a lot, bro. I saw Duke Dennis said something about, like, dude, you got to quit collabing with these rappers. Or I think he said, I don't know if he said paying him to come on stream. It's not worth it. It's not um, organic if you do that. I think the vibe of paying someone to be on your stream is a horrible vibe to begin with. Because it's like, why have them do it if they don't want to do it? You know what I'm saying? Like, why pay somebody $100,000 for two hours of their time? They're going to be, dude, it's going to be awkward and boring as f***. Like, you'd be better off just getting someone who wants to be on the stream. And that way, it's just a good time for everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, paying somebody is a horrible mindset to get on your stream. I have to say, for Aiden, dude, it's actually, like, I think he's the GOAT, honestly. Because I'll still see 
clips from six, seven years ago, like the Tory Lanez clip, is the most viral fucking thing every time. The Tory Lanez clip was like three years ago. Or four years, three, four years yeah. ago. But like random shit from four or yeah. five years ago that get fucking Dude, 10 yeah. million views. I'm just like, how? Aiden is like the Crazy. one who made streaming mainstream. Because before Aiden, it was just like gaming, like Ninja. Like yeah. for, Fortnite is what made streaming like, okay, this is a real thing. Because after Fortnite, people were like, holy shit. Like, there's guys making millions of dollars a month playing video games. So Fortnite was like the big thing. But then once Aiden got into like the trend of like full camera, I'm going to have a rapper on. Yeah. It became like more digestible for everybody because not everybody wants to watch video games, but like anyone can appreciate a rapper stream. Anybody. Because it's just the vibe of it is so good because you have like a streamer and a rapper. It's such Dude. a good like. Well, it's dynamic. also what you I said earlier about. Would be hilarious, bro. Yeah. Like would you and like a Kodak would be hilarious. Oh, I love Kodak. Yeah. Well, I was gonna, I was gonna say the concept is the same thing you said earlier about like you making content, for example, on your TikTok that's just like you doing something that's like not on stream and not typical. Like having like a rapper, like no one knows how rappers really are for the most part because they're not really like p portraying their life in that way. So I think when they pull up on stream, you're just like, oh shit, this is completely different. Exactly. You see them in a different like what we were talking about earlier with like recording TikToks behind the scenes. Like people love to see rappers like in a chair on a stream, like interacting with this guy. It's like. It's so different than like, oh, you just see their like albums and like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, snippets, promo like, stuff. Or like maybe they'll do an interview here and there, but a lot of rappers don't. Like, especially Cardi, like Cardi's really rare. Like he used to do interviews, but like when that stream got announced, it was like the biggest thing ever. Like yeah. it would have like 700,000 viewers. You know what I mean? Yeah. How many TikTok drafts do uh, your girl have? Dude, this guy and your girl is kind of getting interesting. Oh, trust me. I know. He, yeah. He'll text me and call me about it. Like, what the f***? Really? What the f***? Oh, anyway, I think you have to go. So, I don't think. Uh, yeah. Kalani's a bit heartbroken. Goodbye. He's a bit heartbroken. He, is. he, he called me personally. Fun. Was like, "Yo, yeah. try no, to press dude, this seriously kid." Though, congrats on all your success. Thanks, and, man. Uh, yeah, you could tell, bro. You're f smart. You got a good yeah, head on your shoulders. We'll do something soon. You even fired me up, man. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, bro. Yeah. Jinxie's yeah. the man. Yeah, we got to do some more content for yeah. sure, bro. No, yeah. One of these days, bro. I'll get hammered for a Nelk video. That'd be sick. Let's do it. All right. All right. Let's go.